Mrs. Vikramaditya. A super powerful aircraft carrier is the largest ship of the Indian Navy which has been renamed after a legendary Emperor Vikramaditya. To know the role of INS Vikramaditya in India and how many aircraft does it carry and why are their ships called as great assets to our Navy and how can we say this a symbol of superpower, you must watch this video till the end. And I'm right here to tell you everything about INS Vikramaditya, so don't go away until I stop. But before we proceed, please do subscribe to our channel. INS Vikramaditya was commissioned in 1987 and has served with the Soviet Navy and later with the Russian Navy. It was purchased by India on 20th January 2004 for $2.35 billion after years of negotiations. The ship has completed its sea trails in July 2013 and aviation trails in September 2013 and was formally inducted by the Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi into the Indian Navy and dedicated it to the nation on 14th June 2014. With an overall length of about 284 meters, a maximum beam of about 60 meters and a displacement of 45,000 tons, this warship is capable of carrying over 30 aircrafts and helicopters. Featuring a total of 22 decks, the carrier can accommodate more than 1,600 personnel on board including officers and sailors. With a combined thrust of 1,80,000 shaft horsepower produced by 8 boilers, the warship can propel at a speed of over 30 knots. Moreover, it has a capacity of more than 8,000 tons of low sulfur high speed diesel and will be able to perform operations up to a range of over 13,000 km. The warship will also receive total electricity of 18 megawatts with 6 turbo alternators and 6 diesel alternators on board to fulfill its requirements. INS Vikramaditya also features the Computer Aided Action Information Organization system which helps to gather data from the carrier sensor and data links in a bit to support fighter control and direction. The resistor E-radar complex that is designed to offer air traffic control, approach or landing in short range navigation for this aircraft and the presence of modern communication complex CCSMK2 as well as link to tactical data system also strengthen the capacity of the warship. With an extensive refit and modernization process conducted before joining the Indian Navy, this ship can house the aircraft such as MiG-29K and fighter jets and also helicopters including Sea King, Dhruv and Chetak. Being an efficient naval warship, it is capable of operating both in offensive and defensive modes with the support of missile boats and attack submarines etc. Moreover, this aircraft carrier of the Indian Navy has the capacity and amenities to act as hospital ships, humanitarian relief and disaster relief platforms and survey vessels during accidents and natural calamities and also research purposes. The official expected lifespan of the ship is 40 years and is unlikely to require any major repair work for at least a decade. Over 70% of the ship and its equipment is new and the remainder has refurbished. After commissioning, the carrier began a continuous 26-day journey of 10,212 miles to its home port at INS Kadamba and Karwar on 27 November 2013 and was under the command of Suraj Berry, its first Indian captain. The first aircraft piloted by an Indian Navy pilot landed on the carrier on 8 February 2014. The carrier's air wing consists of 16 MiG-29Ks including 4 KUB trainers, 6 airborne early warning and control anti-submarine warfare helicopters. In May 2014, the carrier was declared operationally deployed along with its embarked air group compressing MiG-29Ks and had taken part in a war conducted by the Western Naval Command. On 8 December 2015, Indian Defence Ministry sources stated that the INS Vikramaditya would receive its first major overhaul in September 2016 as a part of the Make in India initiative. An SBI ATM was also opened on 21st January 2017, making it the first Indian Navy ship to have an ATM. So that's all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching Fantasy. I hope you liked this video. If you really liked it, hit the like button below and also subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. We'll meet you very soon in our next video. Until then, have a great time.